What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? I gotta talk about Jamel Hill. She tweeted yesterday. Donald Trump was a white supremacist who surrounded himself with white supremacists. Unbelievable. <laughs> now I know she works for the network. AKA ESPN and you know they're gonna make her say jump off on these liberal talking points. Um and that's one thing the media has succeeded in doing is uh, tying, aka the mysterious white supremacy, with Donald Trump, like the Ku Klux Klan and everything else. Um, you know, not that the Ku Klux Klan is some big major force in in the current year of our Lord 2017 or anything like that, but nonetheless they have. Now. I am no doubt in my mind saying the ESPN producers probably told her to jump out the window on some race topics and she proceeds to jump out the window. This is one thing I know about the African American, the, the Akata, the Shine, the Black American, that when they told to do something, they'll they'll do their damnest. Like that's one thing about black people. Like if you're gonna tell them if you wanna if you want like uh, you want to be entertained and you want somebody to go over the top on something, you get a black to do it, a black American, a Negro like me to do it. You know what I mean? There's no like <clears throat> you want to have a fashionable pastor, you, you you get a black pastor. You know Joel Osteen got private jets, but you know <laughs> um, Creflo Dollar, <laughs> he he flying them jets too, you know what I'm saying, but he does it with some pizzazz and shit like that, you know what I mean, you get the black preacher, you get the black running back, you get the black wide receiver, you know what I mean, they're gonna go fancy with this shit, you know what I'm saying, you get the black teacher who, who has all lined up all his, his students and give them a pound, everybody got a secret handshake, remember that video, Negroes like adding spice on shit, you know what I mean? It's like they season their food. I don't know what it is. It's just flashy shit, you know, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's just it's a perfect example. It's Jamel. Here she comes. Come out, jump out the window. Donald Trump's a, a, a white supremacist. Surrounds himself with white supremacists. Is Omarosa a white supremacist? Ben Carson a, a white supremacist? Mike Tyson, white supremacist? This is what I don't get about black people. They can't, like... They conveniently forget all them years Donald Trump was in the public eye. When he was with the N walk around with the NAACP, and I know that that group is something else, but look, that I'm talking about the, the shine, how how the shine views the NAACP, not how I view it. You can get the fuck out of here with the way I view it. The way he was, he walked around, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg took pictures with him. You know what I mean? He was, he was the most hip hop. Donald Trump was the embodiment of hip hop. They made so many songs about him. Everybody wanted to be like Trump. I people Negroes forget this shit. You shine, forget this shit. Now the white liberal tell you, oh white, uh, oh Donald Trump's a white supremacist. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. Here y'all go, man. It's like I can't even believe this shit, man. <laughs> I can't. And Jamel, man, I, you know what? She's, you know, I. She's actually, well, she's not going on these political tangents. She's okay, but you can now you can't hardly find a time when she isn't going off on these political tangents. You know what I mean? She's a, uh, she attracted quite a following in ESPN. Um, I'm not going to say she's not talented at her job. Um, I clearly she is, but you know, working at ESPN, man, she got it. You got to do what you got to do, and that's you know, I mean, if the ESPN tells you to jump out the left window 
And that's what she's going to do. And that's how I tell you about black people. They're going to jump out the window with full force. No parachute. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're going to jump right out with no parachute. And that's what she did. She's going to call the President of the United States a white supremacist. Like David Duke and him was back in the White House. <laughs> you know, I think uh, people have confused um, now this white supremacy thing. Like, just because you want to slow down illegal immigration uh, doesn't mean you're AKA a white supremacist. And that's why I try, I mean, I don't understand black people. They, like, I've always said this, man. You guys get together. I, I wanted the white folks to get these illegals out of here. 20 years ago. Ask anybody to know me. I wanted to get them out of here 20 years ago. White folks was bullshit. You white folks was bullshit. Now let's let's I'm, not, I'm putting I'm putting first of all, I'm squarely putting the blame on you white folks for bringing these illegals over here. Now some of y'all woke up and like, hey man, we, what's going on? When a Negro's like me said found this said this shit fucking 20 years ago. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But how was this from a work employment standpoint? Like, why would you want to import cheaper labor to so you can compete with? Therefore, therefore, you're going to have to work for the same peanut. Eventually, you're going to have to work for the same peanuts these illegals is working for. Unbelievable. And because of that, you know, but that's the primary reason. That's the primary reason that the quote, quote unquote white supremacists, whoever the hell they are, you know what I mean? David Duke, stick a mic in David Duke's uh, mouth. Like they're the, the mainstream media, they never, they never talked. To, <laughs> I never heard a peep from David Duke until Trump got in office or Trump was starting to run. Nobody heard from him for years. I don't even care. Like, shit. Anyway, Jamel, you gotta relax, sister. You know what I mean? Um, you, you're going too far, like I said. And you're just gonna chop the ratings of SC6, whatever your, your show with uh, your Michael, Michael Hill, whatever his name is. You, you're, going, you're fucking his money up. <laughs> you're fucking his money up. You know what I mean? Going full fucking full retard on this shit, just relax, relax your limbs, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, there's a way to do something, and a way not to do something, and this, tweeting out Donald Trump's white supremacists, surrounded by white supremacists, it's like, I, you're being foolish, man, you, y'all just, you're gonna, you're gonna contribute to the demise of ESPN, so you're just fucking everybody's money up. Mel Hill, stop, relax, delete the tweet. This was you. You shouldn't come out and say I was hacked. <laughs> Jamel, please, Jamel, come out and say you were hacked, and, and you can call this a day. You know what I mean? But um, until you do, man, uh, don't leave that tweet out there hanging. Like you don't got no goddamn sense. Un, un freaking believable. Anyway, this Uncle Hotep. Thank you for listening. I'm off to the gym. It's leg day. I hate leg day. Like I, I got, I'm committed to it. I'm committed to it. So I'm off to the gym to get these legs in order. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video at Jamel Hill with this video so this sister can get her life together. Um, yeah, follow me on Facebook. I got a Facebook page, Uncle Hotep. Follow me on Twitter, Handy Mayhem, Uncle Hotel. Episode 67 of the podcast is out. I'll try to get another one this week, but work got me hemmed up. And uh, what else is there? I don't know. I think that's it, man. My Broncos won last night. Trevor Simeon. I mean, shh. if they can keep the defense up, the defense got them under 21 points, man. Listen, Broncos need a quarterback, man. I just need a quarterback. Jesus Christ. That way, fuck that fucking shit up, man. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'm out. Peace.